Hi, this is David Bedford, about to explore another famous place in Liverpool birthplace of the Beatles. Today we're going to examine a Beatles photo and where it came from. So let's go and explore somewhere up in the docks of North Liverpool. Now the big building there is the uh, tobacco warehouse at Stanley Dock. We'll come to there in just a moment. But we're actually going to look at the Irish migration and take it with John Lennon's roots. And here we have a plaque that was established going back over 150 years and this is after the great famine or the great hunger in Ireland of the late 1840s and it's an estimated 1,300,000 Irish migrants came from Ireland through Liverpool thousands of them stayed and helped to establish modern day Liverpool and amongst those were the Lennons who of course started out as old Lennon so let's go and explore more it was here through the Clarence Graving Docks that most of the Irish migrants arrived. A lot of it is abandoned today. See the famous clock tower designed by Jesse Hartley who designed the Royal Albert Dock. It's hexagonal in shape with a clock on every side. But it's here that the ships from Ireland would dock and those poor Irish people, of course, many died just on that journey to hunger, starvation, illness. And they would come, like John's great-grandfather James Lennon did, through these gates, and welcome to Liverpool. Now, what's here in front of us has changed. These were what was called court housing. It's where the poorest of the poor lived, and the housing conditions were shocking, absolutely shocking. And right next to where these poor people were living was the tobacco warehouse, the grandest in the world, with over a million bricks, the largest brick building ever built. That showed the opulence and the wealth of Liverpool in the shadow of that these poor people were living. What we know is that many of the Irish settled so close to the docks where they arrived. If you follow the story of James Lennon, he got married in 1849 at St Anthony's Church and came to live here with his wife's family, the McConvilles, in number 12 in the courthouse in here on Saltney Street. And conditions were terrible, they were shocking. Many people died, they had families living in one room. It was not great at all. Now, we have done a film a little bit about um, John's Irish roots, which you can find the link here. We're gonna be doing more about all the Irish things for the Beatles themselves coming soon because there's a strange connection because as well as John's great-grandfather James Lennon living in Saltney Street when all of this here was derelict in the 1960s on the first photo shoots that Brian Epstein arranged with the Fab Four was in October 1962 and Les Chadwick took the photos and you've probably seen them before. And where did they bring them? To Dublin Street. And of course it would be Dublin Street, wouldn't it? Capital of Ireland. And some say that Dublin and Liverpool are identical. And there's a lot of similarities with them for sure. So here we are on Salty Street. And this is the street in the shadow of that enormous tobacco warehouse. And this is where James Lennon lived. And he lived down towards the bottom of Salty Street, right by the entrance to the Clarence Dock, where he and hundreds of thousands of others walked through. So this area between us, this was the wasteland. This is where those were taken. So I'm standing on the waste ground the Fab Four are there, and a number of photos that were taken. Although the waste ground's now been built on, and we do the reveal, this is the building they were standing in front of. There's one of the many warehouses that were in this area. Let's say this is on uh, Dublin Street. The 
street itself has changed quite a bit. We've got all these new buildings now, which are where the derelict waste ground was on those photos. That, of course, that was the courthouse, and that's where James Lennon lived. And they were the slums, so there was a mass slum clearance after the war. But of course, what remained were the warehouses. They provide the backdrop. So John Lennon wouldn't have known when he was standing there posing for those photos that he was actually probably a matter of yards away from his great grandfather, James Lennon, where he lived. And that's shown on the 1851 census. And the Lennons, of course, they stayed in Liverpool. That's where John's descended from. And this is his little bit in Dublin Street. <laughs>